bad, babe. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's Merman Mike. I'm out here at Lake Natoma. Got my beautiful girlfriend. And it is an absolute gorgeous day again, so we're gonna take advantage of it. We're coming out here a lot because uh, I did a lot of like shallow kind of pickings at about 15, 20 feet, but out deeper at about 30 to 40 feet, there's been a lot more things I've been finding. So uh, we're gonna go search around here at about 35, probably uh, 40 feet, and should be a pretty good day. Some things I wanna show you guys that uh, are pretty new. I'm excited because I just got them. I got like a couple toys all at once, so. I'm like a little kid on Christmas right now. But uh, yeah, here, I'm gonna show you guys those right now. The first one I ordered is this double-sided 1,700 pound pulling magnet. Each side can pull 850 pounds. And then I also ordered this rope. Um, this, I actually had a company reach out to me and they want me to do a uh, review on it. So that's gonna be super exciting to get to see how this works. It's supposed to be super powerful, way more powerful than one I have you now. So uh, I'm probably gonna end up doing a separate video for the review on that. So check that one out as well. It's called the uh, OD Pro D2000P. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to be like 2000 lumens. I think the one I have right now is like 400 lumens or something like that. So it'll be pretty cool to see them side by side. Um, the other thing, I went and got myself a actual wristwatch dive computer. Super excited about this because uh, as you guys know, you guys have watched the videos before, I've got this console computer. It's pretty bulky and really scratched up on the screen and it's also hard to see and it's hard to get to while I'm down there and I have my hands full and whatnot. So it'll be nice to just have it on my wrist. Pretty soon I'm gonna have all my arms filled up with gadgets and whatnot. I'll look like Inspector Gadget. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna look for anything and everything. If we can return anything back to their owners, I'm gonna try my hardest to do so. And if we find any trash, I'll get that out of there as well. So can't wait to show you guys what's down there. Stay tuned. And if you guys are ever looking to find something that I'm wearing or anything that I have, I usually have a link down below in my description so you guys can go check it out online. All right, everybody. So we're gonna leave the metal detector on the shore for this first run. And I'm basically just gonna go out probably to about that red buoy or so. And I'm gonna uh, basically try to see how these dive lights compare. This one's super brighter than this one, which it should be. And uh, yeah, I just kind of don't want to kick up too much silt and all that stuff with the metal detector. So I'm gonna leave that behind right now and uh, see how these things compare. All right, should be pretty fun. Oh yeah, you can immediately see the difference. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, here we go. So this flashlight works way better than the other one. Plus it felt weird just not having a metal detector down there. So we're gonna use this one now, see how that works. And uh, yeah, should be a really good day. Already found a pair of sunglasses and a couple golf balls. I'm excited. I need to find a holster or something to put this in when I'm not using it. Here 
go. By far my best dive. I got so excited I screamed away about a third of my air. A pair of electrics. Nice. Name brand. Bam. A pair of Ray Vans. Name brand. Bam. Another golf ball. Name brand. Bam. By eyes. <laughs> How crazy is that? Yay! Your first legit. Yeah. Story. It wasn't in some creepy bag full of rocks. Titanium. Oh, that is too cool. But I found it just sitting on the rock. I didn't even see it with my uh, metal detector. 
All right, everybody. So just got done with my dive out here at Lake Natoma. Got my beautiful girlfriend. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite dives that I've ever done. Not only did the dive light that I got work about four or five times better than I thought it was going to, it's also way more powerful than the one I already have. And I'll probably be using it instead of the one I already have now. But uh, the computer I got works awesome. Now it's way easier for me to tell how long I'm down there, how deep I am and all that. And uh, yeah, just with the treasure wise, it seemed like every single time I put my head underwater, I was finding something just cooler and cooler and cooler. So I'm gonna show you guys all that and I'll show you guys the coolest find at the end. All right, here we go. So we got a bunch of golf balls. Uh, one of these is biodegradable. This one you could tell because of these holes it has. Uh, I can't remember the last time I found this many golf balls, so that's pretty cool. I've got what I think is a lacrosse ball. If you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments. I always like learning new things about the treasures I find, but uh, yeah, I think it's a lacrosse ball. And then found a bunch of sunglasses. Haven't found this many pairs of sunglasses in a while too. Plus I found the most pairs of uh, name brand sunglasses I found in a while as well. And that was awesome. Like I said, I mean, every time I put my head underwater, I was like, no way. So, uh, sorry if that got a little bit annoying, but I was just finding find after find after find, so it was a really exciting day. Oh, we got some lining Google, lining, how do you say it? Lining Google. We got those, uh, those are pretty cool, they seem pretty new. We got these ones, looks like lures or something like that, they're missing an arm. Uh, found these, which I think are a type of safety glasses. Um, the T-I-F-O-S-I. -S -S However you say that, I'm not even going to attempt it. But uh, and then we found three pairs of name brand sunglasses. I was super excited. All right, the first ones we've got are electrics. They're called BSG2. I was super stoked to find these. Um, found these pairs of Ray-Bans. I'm always excited with a pair of Ray-Bans, especially the Wayfarer style. Personally with my face, like Aviator or Wayfair, I like the most, probably the Wayfair number one. But uh, I mean, obviously this pair is probably a little too far gone to wear again, but I was still super excited to find them. And then the third pair of name brand, we got something called Jimmy Choo. I had no idea who it was, but my girlfriend definitely knew. Um, I guess it's a pretty famous designer. I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you are rolling your eyes at me right now. But uh, yeah, I thought that was two cool three name pairs, uh, three name brand pairs of sunglasses in one dive. And then I found this weird little like half mask kind of thing. Found a cool frisbee. Found this little like princess teapot kind of looking jar thing. And then the coolest find. Are you guys ready for this? I don't think you are. He went to Lake Natoma. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, titanium wedding band. Oh, it's my first one of those. And uh, I actually found it with my eyes too. I didn't even use the metal detector for that one. And uh, yeah, I love that light. I thought I was picking up like a bottle cap or an O-ring or something like that. Turns out it was a ring. Um, and then last but not least, we just got all the treasure. I mean, not all the treasure. We did get all the treasure we found too, but we got all the trash as well. I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasure. You gotta get the trash too. But yeah, we found this weird little like rebar thing with a bunch of fishing line wrapped around it. Got what I think is like a back to a boat, maybe to hold the motor or maybe belongs on a stick to do something else. I have no idea. If you guys know what this is, please let me know in the comments. Found some plastic silverware like always. Bunch cans and plastic cups and all sorts of things so I'm gonna go ahead and throw those away if you guys are liking these videos please make sure you guys are liking subscribing sharing with your friends it always helps me get out here and make more videos um, we didn't get a chance to use the magnet today but I am gonna come out on another day and do another video of just magnet fishing so that's gonna be really exciting to see how that works um, and yeah I'm just been super excited lately thank you guys so much for all your support and everything you guys have done for me so far can't wait to make more videos for you guys and i'll see you on the next one take care oh i totally forgot found a full mountain dew